Hello and welcome. This video will cover the forced convection heat transfer experiment in which we are having a copper rod being heated to 90 degrees and for that purpose we are using this water heater which is fitted with a hole to fit the rod. So as we switch on the water heater, the water will start to heat up and reach the boiling point. By that time, this rod will reach about 90-95 degrees. Now after we heat the rod up, we are going to place it into one of the positions you see in this bank to study the force convection heat transfer on a single element. Now, this lower end here is forcing airflow from this direction to here as we switch it on. Both the switches for the blower and the water heater are placed on the corner of this table. And here we switch on the blower. The experiment setup is, is fitted with a flow meter, which is basically giving us the flow speed of air in meter per second. So, and during your experiment, we will be doing different trials with different flow rates. In order to control the flow rate, we are controlling this volume control damper in here. Remember, as you change the flow rate, you need always to lock it using this bolt lock in there. And always refer to the air velocity as your increments. So, for example, if we, let's say, fully open damper will give you about 12 meter per second of airflow, we'll need to reduce it a little bit to get 10 meter per second, 8 meter per second, 6 meter per second, and so on. So don't refer about only for, to the volume control damper, always change the volume control damper while looking to the uh, air velocity in there. So we are going to set the airflow before the start of the experiment, before getting a full set of readings. So I'm going to do that quickly now. Now the device is reading about I got about 11 meter per second flow at this point. I locked the volume control damper so it doesn't change while we are undertaking the experiment. We will switch on the water heater till the water starts boiling and the rod temperatures reach about 90 degrees. The rod is fitted with a digital thermometer in here which give us about real time measurements from the rod. It changes every few seconds. Now, very important to remember, while dealing with this, this rod, it's going to be really hot. It's about 90 degrees. Always wear the gloves and handle it with care. So, during the experiment, after we already set the flow rate using the volume control number, you can switch off the blower. We wait till the rod get heated up. Then, in a quick movement, we try to fit it in its position in here. As it's fitted in, we are going to switch on the blower. I'm going, I'm going to keep it off at this moment because it gets really noisy. So, we switch on the blower and we start recording the temperature difference in here every 5 seconds. So, if we start with let's say 92 degrees, we record that at 0 second. Then after 5 seconds, we record next reading, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds and so on, till we reach somewhere around room temperature. Let's say about 30 degrees, 35 degrees. And that will give you the cooling curve of the rod. 
Now, a stopwatch will be provided to you uh, in order to uh, get a time measurement. It's important to repeat this for more at least two or three florets. So after getting full set of readings from 90 degrees to 30, recorded every five seconds, we are going to change the flow rate again. We always look there after we change. So we started with 11 meter per second. We can do nine meter per second, for example. Again, after we set the flow, we switch off the flower. We go to the rod as it cools down, heat it up again, and repeat the experiment with the same procedure. Temperature difference every five seconds. Now, something you will notice while doing the actual lab, the temperature will start to change rapidly as it's at higher level, let's say 90s, 80s. So it will start to do more than one change within the five seconds you are doing. Then, at the end of that curve, in let's say 40 to 30 degrees, it's going to change very slowly. So it's up to you if you want to take every 5 seconds at the beginning or take every uh, temperature change and record the time again as that. However, that is going to be a very fast operation and you will need the help of a colleague or two. So one of you will be recording the time, the other one record the temperature and so on till you get it like smooth. The more points you get, the more smooth the curve will be. However, if you take uh, measurements every 5 seconds or even every 10 seconds, that should be really giving you an indication on how the temperature changes with time. So this is basically it. Always remember wearing the gloves while dealing with hot items. And this flower is running at very high speed and it gets heated up. This is the electrical motor part. So avoid touching this. This sometimes gets really hot. There is a blower moving very fast in here, so avoid any loose items, any long hair, or avoid just getting things in there. Air suction will be coming from this direction, so you should not blow, uh, block this part or have somebody stand there because this will change the flow. Similarly, you should not block the air coming out from here because again that will change the flow rate uh, on your work. Always remember to lock the volume control damper before you undertake the experiment because you don't want uh, to keep this one loose and due to vibration it starts to move slowly and then gives you different flow rates. That's basically it. Thank you for watching.